Hey guys, welcome back to Jungle Flowers Canada. Can you hear the echo? So guys, my son has moved out and I have got my basement back. So, I am going to show you how I set my basement up for plants. Now I did this two years ago and I kept hundreds, I mean hundreds of plants alive over the winter. I don't have half as many now, I have cut down my supply of plants but um, I actually used the other room which didn't even have windows in it. This one has two windows and it actually, like it wouldn't be bright enough to have plants here without lights, but it's not pitch dark like it was in the other room. So I have a couple of tricks and hacks for you. I did share some of it in an old video, but I'm going to show you again how I make my own grow tent very inexpensively with the existing shelves that I have. So let me show you the room guys, not everything is completely out, there's still um, a keyboard here and there's a few little bits which I will move but like just little incidentals but um, I'm just going to explain to you what I'm going to do in this room. Okay so you can see it's painted, like it's not white but it's a nice bright colour, the ceilings are bright. Um, I do have to protect the floor because you see there is a laminate floor there which can easily get damaged. So in this corner here, I'm actually getting a sink put in, like a laundry tub, so that I'll be able to water my plants because the biggest headache of doing this before was I had to bring water down the stairs. So I am getting a laundry sink put in here and then I'm going to use the rest of the room. Um, I'm just gonna put shelving, I should say, in the rest of the room. So you can see um, it's, and it's not a huge room but it's it's plenty big for my plants and this here was actually like a closet I'm going to use this for storage and you can see there's an aloe there that I gave my son that's still alive believe it or not sitting I don't know if they actually had it in a window or not but I will move it out of there so and um, there's just like um they're kind of like carpet tiles in there so I just want to share with you how I'm going to prepare for this so I do have a large delivery of plants coming from Thailand. <laughs> Am I a sucker for punishment? I don't know. But I want to have plants over the winter that I can nurture and grow and um, so that they'll strength, you know, get strong for the summer. So I want to set this up so that I can grow them and by making my own grow tent, I will give it the humidity and the light that they need. So without further ado, let me go bring in my shelving and show you my first project. Okay guys, I want to show you something. So this shelf here is the same as this one. I bought them in Costco, but I want to show you how I configure these. So I actually make three low shelves here. So, so this is the bottom, it's on wheels, and I have the bottom shelf in, and this is the top, which is not on wheels. I just need to take off this top shelf. Okay, so I just take off this shelf, I have my grow lights attached, I'm just going to leave them for now. I space them out the width of a shelf, and then you take one of your shelves, and you just Put it over here. Oops, have I enough room here? Can you pull that up? And then, oops, sorry guys, my memory card was full. So I just wanted to actually I'm going to tilt this down to make the light a little bit better. You can see that better, guys. Okay, so the bottom piece, the top piece, and one of the shells in the middle. Okay, so now I'm going to add my other shells. So I basically have three separate sections for plants because I do bring in a lot of my outdoor plants for the winter. So I'm going to put my clips here. So I'm going to put the middle shelf actually on first. So I have to go down a little bit here for this one. So you have to make sure you're at the same distance on this side. Oops. Okay, put this back on. Okay. Now, yeah, it is 
better if you have help, guys. Okay. Okay, so that's much. Okay, so now you can see this is much higher. So I'm going to move these down. shelters and basically what they are are a foil tent and they're really quite big so I take these and I wrap my shelf in it and I create an, an overlap which is an opening so I can get into water my plants and it keeps the humidity in it reflects the light back in and it does the very same as one of those grow tents and I had huge success with this. I kept many succulents alive over the winter using this. So I'm not sure the problem is, guys, I do this video so late in the year that you might, I don't know if you'll be able to get these in Dollarama, but you know what, if you go out now and have a look for them, you might be able to get them. Um, I did one time, I couldn't find enough, and I actually got a shower curtain, and I lined the shower curtain with tin foil, and that worked very well as well. So if all else fails, you could use that option. Okay, so here is my idea shelving. And these lights here, guys, are just shop lights and they're 5,000 Kelvin, which is the ideal Kelvin you need to keep plants alive over the winter. Um, it is a cool light, you don't want a warm light, so the cool light is white and bright and that gives you the higher Kelvin. And I have them all hooked up to timers, so they basically come on usually in the evening and they're on overnight because that's the cheapest time for electricity. And I have two of them in this, and then I have two more that will go over, over top. And then I also have, um, I think it's called a T5. If I'm wrong, I will let you know. Another light that I actually bought in Home Depot, and that will go over the middle. And then underneath these two shelves that we just put together are actual grow lights from Costco, you know, the red and blue ones. I did have a ton more and I actually sold them because I thought I'm not going to have as many plants as I've had in the past. So what I have is actually sufficient now. So what do I do? I take this tent. You see how big it is? It's really quite big. Okay. And I cover this whole shelf and then just have an overlap at the front so I can get it. Okay guys, so then I get some duct tape.
actually guys, you wouldn't need to redo these every year. These would last for a couple of years. The only reason I have to redo them is because my son was in here and I just pulled everything down from the other room. I actually still have the old ones, which I could have reused as well, okay? But if you have a specific room for this, there's no reason why you wouldn't get a couple of years out of this, okay? So basically it's adding like about $6 to your existing shelving. So I think it's a great idea. So you know what I'm going to do? Rather than use the third room on this, I'm going to get the one I had last year and I'm going to cut a panel off it here. So that panel will stay open and that's how I'll get in and out to my plants. So I just folded it in half and I'm going to stick it there. So then when I want to get in, I just pull this aside. Okay guys, so um, when it's finished, I'll show you and I'll put the lights on and you'll just see how bright it is in here. So, I'm just going to cut this here. Okay guys, so there's my shelf. So then, when I want to water my plant, so check my plant. I can, if I need to, I can push it up on top or I can pull it aside. I have my lights plugged in. Guys, you can see how bright it is in there using my 5,000 Kelvin shop lights and as you can see the light reflects off the foil and it creates the perfect environment for keeping your plants alive. So I'll be keeping my Hoyas in here and I also have some Aeroids coming that I'll be keeping in here and then I also have the extra one if I need to wrap one of the other shells and this has worked so well for me every year. So I want to show you this as well guys. This was an old TV unit that I had and it had a swivel top on it. So I took the swivel top off. So I got my husband to drill holes in it, but you know that flat drill bit that drills holes. And then my son put this border around for me and this is my planting table. So the reason I have the holes here is so the soil can fall through and then I have, I keep a container under here to catch the soil that I can reuse. And then underneath here, I can keep, I have my perlite under there. I put my um, worm castings, my bark, and I'll keep all of them under there. So I can do my planting here and it's perfect. Okay guys, so I love this space down here. It's my own. I'm not encroaching on anybody's space upstairs with my extra plants. And I can come down here if I'm not having a great day. I can do some planting and I get great solace from my planting. So guys, I hope this video has been helpful and that you may have got some tips from it. And uh, when I do have it completed, I will do another video. So I'm just waiting for my sink to go in. And I do have another set of grow lights that I have ordered. I'm waiting to come and when I have all my shop lights up, I will give you a tour. Okay guys, thank you for joining me. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, that would be amazing. And if you could subscribe to my channel, that would be appreciated. Take care guys, bye.